Hi, first grade. Welcome back to Art with Miss Buchelt. Today, we are going to be getting to create some really fun how to draw things. So you'll need a pencil, and I chose a thick black Sharpie and a skinny black Sharpie. All right, and then you'll need some colors of your choice. I'm going to be using crayons. Okay, so um, today we are going to be um, drawing some fish and some penguins. Now, um, these fish and penguins are going to be done using shapes. Okay, so we are going to be, to be drawing three different kind of each. Okay, so um, under the penguins, we're going to first start by making a square. All right, so draw your square. The next shape is going to be a triangle. You don't want them too small, remember. And then our final shape is going to be a circle. All right, now each one of these shapes is going to be a different kind of penguin. Let's start with the square though. All right, so um, first thing on the left side, we're gonna make a curved shape. So let's curve that around on the top. And then we're gonna make the eyes. Okay, so um, let's make two circles. For the eyes now you'll see this line just kind of goes through the middle we'll erase that in just a minute here okay and then we're going to be making an upside down triangle to make our beak and finally erase that line remember i said just grab our eraser here and erase um, that line in the middle it's okay if your eyeball erases while you're doing it because then you can um, just redraw that circle again okay so you have your circle your big circle, your small circle, and the upside down triangle for the nose. Next, go on to the bottom, and we're going to make a curve shape up to the beak and curve back down. This is creating the belly of our penguin. On the left side, we're going to be making our first flipper. So we're going to do two curved lines on each side. And starting at the end of that line, just draw a straight line that's pointed that connects to the body. You'll see now it has its flippers or its wings. For the feet, we're going to do two short diagonal lines on each side, a straight line on the bottom, and then a curved line back up to the top. All right, and there we have our square penguin. Now we're going to outline. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our triangle penguin. Okay, so grab your pencil again, and we are gonna start at the top of our triangle, and we're gonna make a curved line to make the top of our head, and then we are going to move a little bit further down that triangle and make a shorter curved line that goes to the point. This is gonna be our head, and it's gonna form the beak. All right, and then a little circle on the inside for the eye. You want to take your eraser and you'll want to erase that little line of that triangle so that our head connects to the body. Okay, next step is we're going to be making um, some details like where does the black part go, where's our beak, where's our feet and our flippers. Okay, so um, on the left side, let's make our flippers first. Two curved lines just like before. Straight line connects to the body to make a pointed flipper. Okay, next we'll start at the top of the head and we're gonna be um, creating a curved line down to show where the black and white part is of our penguin. Okay, so go ahead and draw a curved line that goes all the way from the bottom to the top. And I even made a little line to show where my orange beak is gonna be there. Finally, we're gonna do our feet just like we did on top diagonal flat curve now let's add outline okay now let's start with our circle penguin at the beginning we're going to put two circles inside of the eyes or inside the head for the eyes. 
Okay, so two circles, followed by an upside down triangle to make the nose or the beak of our penguin. Good. Now on the bottom, we're going to make that curved shape again to come up to make the belly of our penguin. Good. Yep, just like that. Now we're going to do sh two short curved lines on the side. Then just like before, make a straight line that connects to the body to make its wings. And then the feet are going to be um, just like we did before. Two diagonal lines, one straight, and then one that curves up into the body. Or you can do straight lines. I think I'm going to do straight lines. Now inside the eye, I'm going to do another smaller one to be the pupil of the eye. Now we're ready for outline. Okay, now that we have them all outlined, it's time to add some color. Grab your black and your orange, and let's get started. Okay, so now that we finished with the penguins, we are going to move on to doing our fish. Okay, now, um, just like how we did the penguins, we are going to do our fish using the shapes. Okay, so we're going to have a square, a triangle, and a circle. So let's start by drawing those out on our fish side. Um, now, oh, I realize that our square actually should be going a different direction. So we're going to take that square, and we're just going to turn it so it has a kite shape instead. Okay, so... You turn that square so the point is up, and then you make a kite shape instead, just like that. Okay, next we're going to do our triangle. And, um, oh, I just remembered um, our triangle also needs to be flipped. So let's take our triangle and let's turn it so that the top of our triangle is facing a different direction. Okay, very good. Straighten that line out. Now we're going to do another circle because circles always are the same, even if you turn them. Okay, so we have our square, our triangle, and our circle. Now our square has been turned so that it looks like a kite. Our triangle also has been turned so it looks like it's pointing a different direction. Our circle stays the same. Okay, we'll start up here in our kite. So we are going to, um, oh, you know what? Before we begin, I want to make mine just a little bit bigger. It's harder when you make things really small. It's easier to draw when they're bigger. Okay, so let's make my bigger kite shape. There we go. Good. Okay, now we're going to start by making a curved line for the face of our fish, a circle for the eye, and, um, yep, so we have our curve and our circle for the eye, and then we're going to make a smile. Now we're going to do our back fin next. We're going to do two diagonal lines coming out of the tail end of our fish, and we are going to make one line that connects them, but we want it to be curved, kind of like a U shape, like that. Okay, so that kind of looks like a curve of a fish's tail. Next is gonna be the fin on the side. We're gonna make a long line and then a short line. Okay, and then we're gonna connect those using another curved line, just like that. So it looks kind of pokey like a fin. The next fin is going to be on the top, so we're going to start on that line, and we are going to do a straight line up, go down a little bit, and make another straight line, and then we're going to connect those by doing, again, one of those U-shaped lines, those curved lines. And finally, our bottom fin here. Okay, now this fin is just small, two lines, they kind of look like zigzags have connected them. Okay, so um, now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to um, change up if I want it to look a little bit differently, and I think I'm good with that. Um, now we're going to move on to our triangle. So just like on the kite, we're going to make a curve for our face, and then an eye, and of course it's smile. Good. 
Now for this fin, we are going to be doing another um, diagonal line straight out on each side. And this time, they're going to um, point in, almost like we're making a one big zigzag, okay? Do you see how it kind of does, um, or kind of like a triangle shape, so it has pointed ends. Now the fin on the inside, on the side of the fish, is going to be the same as the one up above. Two straight lines, and then connect them using the small zigzag. Very good. And then next, we're going to do our top fin. It's just going to be one curved line, kind of like a shark's fin, and it curves to the top, and then the bottom is the same thing, just a little bit smaller. Now we're done with our triangle. Let's move on to our final fish, um, which is our circle fish. Now I'm going to just label these. Um, the first is our kite shape. The second fish is our triangle shape. Triangle. And then um, our third is going to be our circle. Okay, so starting here, we're going to make that curved line for our face. Remember, a circle for the eye, and we're going to give this guy a tall smile. Yep. And then we are going to um, move now to doing his fin. Now his fin, we want to follow the curve of his circle and then we're going to use curved lines instead of straight lines. See how it's curvy like this and kind of like an S? We're going to do that same on the bottom side and we are then going to curve the tops of those fins together. So it kind of looks like a curvy um, tail. Now you see that line there? We want to erase that line so that the tail becomes connected to the body. Very good. Just like that. I'm just going to fix that. Okay. So now on the top, we're going to do a long curved line and then a short curved line. And we're going to connect them doing two swishes. Okay, two U-shaped lines. And then... Um, on the bottom, we're going to do uh, kind of the same one of those, but just a little bit smaller. And then our final fin is going to be just like the fins on top, long line, short line, and then they connect with one U-shaped swish. So now we're going to outline our fish using our black marker. <laughs> Let's add color to our fish now. Okay, so here we have our finished fish and penguins. I hope you had fun learning how to make them out of shapes, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!